All right, boom, wagwan, or if you prefer, hello, how are you? I hope you're well. It's me, Kit Man and Man, and I'm back again with another ranking video. It's time again for Kit Man and Man to be in front of you ranking. Yeah, ranking time, ranking time, R -r 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 ranking time. I'm gonna rank every single one of my purchases uh, from the club shirts from the 2021-22 season. Whilst I am surrounded by absolute bad boy shirts from the 2020-21 season, um, I'm wearing one. Um, so before I get all the way into this video, you know how it goes, yeah? Like the video, please. Yeah? It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't even take much time, yeah? Hit that subscribe button as well. Also doesn't cost you anything or take much time. Hit that bell notification. That takes ever so slightly more time, but still not a lot of time. 2021-22 season was a real interested one in regards to kits, right? Because I remember at the beginning of the season, I put out a tweet saying something along the lines of, boy, this is gonna be a nice cheap year for me buying shirts because I'm not interested in too many. Right, because at the beginning of the season, I think there was only about five or six shirts that I looked at and thought, yeah, it's a bit of me, I want that. I'm also one of those type of people that like to see shirts on the field. Yeah, shirts on the pitch, watching matches played in it, and my opinion might change, it might grow up. In 18th place out of my collection of 2021-22 shirts is the Borussia Dortmund Cup shirt with that dreaded Puma template that absolutely every single person within the kit community hates. Um, and to be honest, I don't love it. Um, I bought it purely out of irony, just to say that I've got one of these god awful shirts. Um, I do think though, that there's a possibility that as time goes on and the years pass in like 10, 15 years time, this might actually be a classic, I'm hoping. It might be worth some money. I'll tell you what I did do though, I didn't get the one without the badge. I think that's what people's biggest gripe with the shirt was, was that it didn't have a badge in it. But I got the one with the badge. In 17th place, we have this Arsenal home shirt. It is mediocre at best. Um, I don't love it. I don't like the neckline. I think the neckline is what ruins it for me. Um, it looks a bit like an Ajax shirt as well. And when I'm several times watching Arsenal play this season, um, it felt like I was watching Ajax. Not the type of football, just the, the shirts. Um, yeah. Like, if I wasn't an Arsenal fan and I wasn't committed to buying every Arsenal shirt, this one probably wouldn't be purchased. Unless there, it was on sale for a really cheap price and... There was a player like Saka, for example, whose shirt that I really wanted. In 16th, surprise, surprise, we have a shirt with the same template, with the same neckline. But in contrast, I actually quite like the design of this shirt. We have um, this Real Madrid, uh, is this the away shirt or the third shirt? Away shirt, I'm gonna go with away shirt. If I'm wrong, get at me in the comments. Um, yeah, with the away shirt with Probably the Ballon d'Or winner, Kareem Benzema on the back. In contrast though, I actually quite like this shirt. Um, the design, the graffiti in the background is absolutely fire. Um, the rubber badge looks sick. Um, I quite like it. It's just the neckline that I don't love. And that's probably why it is so low. If it didn't have that neckline, it would probably be a bit higher up. In 15th place, we have another... Borussia Dortmund shirt. Um, it's their away shirt from this season. And it's a decent shirt. It is a decent shirt. You can't really go wrong with like black and gray and a bit of yellow. The sponsor's decent. I quite like the chevrons. But the real reason why I actually bought this shirt, if I'm honest, was because it was going pretty, sh uh, it was going pretty cheap. It was going pretty cheap and it has absolute baller Jude Bellingham on the back and anyone that's been around this channel for any amount of time knows that I'm a bit of a Jude Bellingham fanboy so it didn't really matter what shirt it was really I would have had Bellingham on it. In 14th place 
We have Ajax's home shirt. Um, I really like this shirt, if I'm honest. There's no reason why it's so low other than I just like the other shirts a bit more. Um, it's clean. It's Ajax, proper Ajax, not fake Arsenal Ajax. Um, and this shirt is all about the badge. That vintage Ajax badge is absolutely... Mwah, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, not too much to say about it. It's Ajax. In 13th place, I have a feeling that I am about to get absolutely mullered by everyone within the shirt collecting community and probably in the comments and just anyone. Because in 13th place, this is a shirt that was probably tipped to be one of, if not the shirt of the season. And it is the Inter Milan home shirt. Um, so, like I said, this shirt was tipped to be probably shirt of the season. And from far away and on pictures, it probably is still one of the shirts of the season. The blue is like the dark blue and the light blue contrast is fire. You can't go wrong with gold detailing anywhere, I don't think. Um, and I've even got used to the new Inter Milan logo. Like this shirt is absolutely fire, especially the one without the sponsor. But in stadium version, it looks cheap. And when I first got it, I bought it directly from Nike. But I was thinking to myself, if this is what the, like, the legitimate version looks like, I dread to think what the fakes look like because it just looks a bit cheap and tacky. Um, and I've seen the Vapor version as well in real life and I wasn't blown away by it either, um, which is really awkward because, yeah, this was a top shirt and I actually paid full price for this because I really wanted it when it came out but that's how it goes and it's still sold out I think so it is what it is in 12th place we have PSG's home shirt and to be absolutely honest when this first came out and I saw the pictures or whatever I was so just like okay it's a blue shirt and everyone's going oh my god it's so nice and I'm like hmm like, I didn't get it. And then I saw it on pitch, like I said. I saw PSG playing it, and I saw it with the shorts. And I realised that it is essentially a football shirt, but a basketball jersey, um, a basketball vest. And in the context with the full kit, this shirt is absolute fire. Um, and, believe it or not, it's actually my favourite one of all four. That white and pink one, I don't get it. The The black and grey third shirt that everyone was going nuts about is like to me it's essentially the same template as this and everyone hated it um and the fourth shirt is really nice i just don't do too well with white shirts it's the same as this but white um but the reason why i got this is because it was on discount and it has the goat himself lionel messi on the back so, you know, I had to. In 11th place, we have Arsenal's away shirt for this season. And I think this shirt is just a clean shirt. Um, it's yellow with blue and red detailing. But what really sets this apart for me is the badge, the old school cannon. It's just clean, man. I like it. I hope you don't think I'm being biased by putting it in there so high, but I like this one a lot. In 10th place, right? So into my top 10 shirts of this season that I own is the Inter Milan third shirt. And <laughs> it feels like I'm a broken record, but this is one of those shirts that when I first saw it, the pictures of it, I was like, what on earth is going on here with these big, bold block colours across the middle? Like, I was like, huh? And these weird colours, it looks cartoony, it looks a bit immature. Did not love it at all. And then, again, I saw Inter Milan playing it a few times and I was like, do you know what? This shirt is a little bit alright. 
Yeah, and then I saw it on JD Sports for like 30 quid. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. Quick time. Yeah? The shirt's a banger. I think this is probably the most underrated shirt of this season. In ninth place, we have this Union Berlin shirt. Um, I think this shirt went completely under the radar for a lot of people. Um, I mean, it didn't come on my radar at all until I saw it on sale in JD Sports and I thought it's worth a pick up. I love this design. I remember Arsenal had uh, the same template and pretty much the same design uh, last season on their third shirt and it's the same template as the uh, Juventus uh, fire shirt from last season and I think it's cold in this like black and dark grey, light and dark grey contrast is fire and it's ninth in my list. In eighth we have Barcelona's away or third? I can't remember. Deal with it in the comments. Um, and I think it's the away one. And this was one that everyone at the beginning of the season was going absolutely nuts for because of the iridescent badge and night tick. And I was a bit like, yeah, but it's just, it's just badge and tick. Like, what else do you want me to do? And then Aubameyang <laughs> moved to Barcelona and I had a bit of a sale on and I thought, do you know what? I like Aubameyang. Um, I've got a Aubameyang shirt from Dortmund. I've got his Arsenal shirt. So let me just continue with the theme of buying Aubameyang shirts. And I got him on the back of it. And do you know what? Once I got this shirt in the flesh, the badge is just unreal. Like it just hits the light differently, man. This shirt is a banger. In seventh, we have this absolute bad boy, the Bayern Munich Oktoberfest um, shirt with Robert Lewandowski on the back. This shirt is absolutely fire. I mean, before the season started, I had my heart set on the third shirt, the black and gold one. And then this came out and I was like, nah, like you can't go wrong with black and gold. But I think this dark green and gold combo is absolute just, ah. Yeah, absolute bad boy shirt, love it. In sixth, we have Italian champions for the first time in like 12 years, AC Milan with their away shirt. And I think this shirt is absolutely stunning. Um, it looks like it's actually kind of the same template as this Dorman shirt. And it's got the same kind of chevron pattern in it, but it's more subtle because it's in a cream colour, but the cream and the red and the black just pop off each other so well. Um, I was really sceptical about buying this shirt because I'm awful with light coloured shirts. I get them dirty, but I just had to. And especially after they won the league, I'm glad I got this. Absolute, just, this is a beautiful shirt, man. I love it. I'm just scared to wear it. <laughs> We're into the top five. We are in to the top five. And do you know what? In this top five, I promise you, if you ask me tomorrow what my top five shirts in my collection from this season or the 2021-22 season are, these five shirts will probably interchange quite a lot. In fifth, I am going for the RB Leipzig for, uh, third shirt. What a shirt. It's the, it's the colorway that does it for me. It's the pinks and the blues and the dark colors just all colliding together. Um, yeah, I know everyone loves the home and the away shirt, the multicolored one um, and the red and white one. But yeah, this shirt in another season could have been shirt of the season. Um, the only reason why it's fifth is because it's just kind of how I feel today. If you ask me tomorrow, it might be first. Oh dear. So, it's time for my full shirt. And if I never got killed in the comments about the Inter Milan shirt, I'm absolutely going to get ruined now because the shirt that I have in fourth, most people have, ha have it as the shirt of the season. Um, and I'm sure there is a few people in this community that are willing to actually have a physical fight over the fact that this next shirt in fourth shirt uh, in fourth place is the shirt of the season. Um, 
the Venezia home shirt from this season. And do you know what? It quite well, it quite possibly might be shirt of the season. Um, I love it. Like I said, you can't go wrong with black and gold, but it's the stars, it's the detailing, it's the badge, it's everything about this shirt is just stylish and I do love it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not fourth because I don't love it. It's fourth because I just think, personally, there's three shirts that I like better. But don't get me wrong, I love this shirt. Don't murder me in real life. Murder me in the comments. Have a field day. Enjoy yourself in the comments. In third place is the Arsenal third shirt from this season. This was a shirt that as soon as it, as soon as I saw the leaks of it, I was excited about it. Um, when it was released and I went into Adidas store and I looked at it, I was like, no, this shirt is absolutely fire. I love it. And based on that alone, it probably would have made my top five. But then I saw it on the pitch. I saw the boys of Arsenal play in this shirt on the pitch. And on pitch, this shirt is absolutely just out of this world. Like, it's loosely based on, obviously, uh, is it like the 1994 to 1997 era of Arsenal when we had a lot of lightning bolts when our shirts were designed by Drake Ramberg. And there has been a lot of talk around the community how it's a bit weird how Adidas has basically nicked his ideas of the lightning bolt and it gets worse in the 2022-23 um, shirts, but we'll deal with that next season. This is my first favourite shirt this season. Um, absolute bad boy. Adidas have been really, really good this year um, and they've been untouchable for Arsenal since they've got in. In second place, this one divides a lot of opinion even though it sold out in minutes but i hear a lot of grumbles around oh it's not that great blah 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 but it is ajax's third shirt from this season the bob marley shirt the free little bird shirt um yeah you hear a lot of grumbles oh it's just a black shirt and if it didn't have the free little birds and bob marley no one would care about it and you know what i kind of agree but the significance of this shirt, the cultural um, importance of this shirt transcends football. Like people that are not even into football love and want this shirt because they love Bob Marley. And do you know what? Pictures of it, they're all right. And when you see it, like even in the flesh, it looks all right. But I promise you, when you put it on and the sun hits it when you're outside and you're wearing it, the green, gold and red on the sleeve and just the colorway and everything about it, it just pops, man. It is an absolute banger. And if the shirt that I put in number one wasn't so sick, this probably would be my shirt of the season. It's time to crown, in my opinion, in my collection, my favorite 2021-22 shirt that is in my collection is this the venezia full shirt right so all of you lot that went mad at me in the comments for not putting the home shirt higher the reason why is because i think the full shirt is just it's just different gravy man black and red and gold all in one shirt it's just classy the design This shirt is just, do you know what? I'm going to put it on. From the 2020-21 shirt of the season to the 2021-22 shirt of the season. And listen, you wear this shirt, heads turn. I've worn the home one out, out, right? And I'm looking forward to the day that I wear this with a nice pair of chinos, right? A blazer right, and step out in some nice shoes, you get me? Yeah, on a little date night with Kit Man and Mrs or something like that. This shirt is just classy. That's the end of the video. Yeah, thank you for watching me rank. Right, make sure you like the video, yeah, subscribe to the channel, comment and let me know if you agree and if there's any shirts from this season or last season, 2021-22 season, 
that you think that I should have got, right? And until I see you again, I've been Kitman a man. Peace. <laughs>